Today on Truth Is, Jesus says there's coming a time when people will seek him and he will not be found. That's coming up. Welcome to Truth Is. Today we get into the Gospel of John chapter 7, verse 25 is where we'll start. Verse 25 says, Some of the people of Jerusalem therefore said, Is not this the man whom they seek to kill? And here he is speaking openly, and they say nothing to him. Can it be that the authorities really know that this is the Christ? But we know where this man comes from, and when the Christ appears, no one will know where he comes from. The authorities were not going to give Jesus a chance no matter who he was because they didn't really know God anyway and all they cared about were themselves. So uh, even if Jesus was the Messiah, which he was, they didn't care because all they cared about was themselves. There was a, a tradition that said the Messiah would miraculously appear, but if they had a dug deeper, if these people that were asking these questions about who Jesus was, if they would have dug deeper, they would have known where Jesus came from. Uh, they would have known that he wasn't supposed to just appear. The Bible tells us clearly, Scripture tells clearly where the Messiah would come from. Everyone has to make up their mind who Jesus is. Everybody makes a decision on Jesus. Everybody has to decide something, and by not deciding, uh, people dis may still make a decision. Verse 28, so Jesus proclaimed as he taught in the temple, you know me and you know where I come from, but I have not come on my own accord. He who sent me is true and him you do not know. I know him for I come from him and he sent me. So they were seeking to arrest him, but no one laid a hand on him because his hour had not yet come. And of course, Jesus came to do the Father's will, and they are uh, seeking to kill him. It wasn't his time yet. It was God's timing, again, is so important. Uh, God's timing is perfect, and it wasn't time for him. Yet, in a few months, it would be the time he would go to the cross. Verse 31, Yet many of the people believed in him. They said, When the Christ appears, will he do more signs than this man has done? And, and no one did greater signs than Jesus because he was God and he had miraculous power. Verse 32, the Pharisees heard the crowd muttering these things about him and the chief priest and the Pharisees sent officers to arrest him. The Pharisees are afraid that Jesus is going to win over the crowd. So they want to uh, disperse this. They want to put an end to it. So they're going to send officers to arrest him, to quieten him down. Verse 33, Jesus then said, I will be with you a little while longer, and then I'm going to him who sent me. You will seek me, and you will not find me. Where I am, you cannot come. The Jews said to one another, Where does this man intend to go that we will not find him? Does he intend to go to the dispersion among the Greeks and teach the Greeks? What does he mean by saying, You will seek me, and you will not find me, and where I am, you cannot come? Well, there's coming a time when it will be too late to accept Jesus. That time is coming for everyone that don't have a relationship with Christ. There's a time coming when he will not be found. It will be too late, and that's what he's telling these people. They don't know him. They don't have a relationship with him. And he's saying there's coming a time when it's going to be too late. And, and that is true for us today. And my prayer for you is that you have accepted Jesus. And if you haven't, my prayer for you is that you will seek him, that you will dig deeper as these people should have dug a little deeper to know that he was truly the Messiah and he still is. So my prayer for you is if you don't know Christ, that you come to know him. Well, that's all the time we have today on Truth Is. I thank you for joining me. Hey, until next time, blessings.